All right, call to order. Call to order at 7 p.m. by Lynn McGrew. McGrew? Yes. Call to Yes. Duncan. Yes. All members present. Consideration of possible action on the consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? I make a motion to approve. Second. McGrew? Yes. Collins? Yes. Duncan? Yes. Report from Fire Department. Discuss consideration possible action on monthly operations and maintenance. I have it. Okay. Um, there are two car wrecks. Three structure fires, two medicals, and seven grass fires, totaling 14. Um, we had a flow test done for air packs, all of them passed. Had pumper testing done for 80 and 81 engines. Uh, they found a few problems that were repaired and are back in operation. 85 had a water pump go out and was placed as soon as the parts arrived and is back in operation. And then our fundraiser and auction is June 9th. Thank you. I have that so I can... Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He wanted to table... couldn't write that fast. <laughs> he wanted to table the fuel car. Thank you. He's yeah. got the yeah. stuff that they're on a he's, control yeah. arm. Yeah, he's helping. They're helping more. Well, they look, look at options for fuel car. You want to table that? The next yeah. Time. Discussion, consideration, possible action on purchasing materials needed to dry in in addition to the community building. So, I, I just got some ideas from D.H. Rogers so we could get a ballpark on uh, putting two to six studs up, uh, siding on the out, or putting plywood up on the outside, trusses and tin. Uh, it's going to be somewhere around uh, about $6,500. And that's just, I didn't break it down. That's no insulation, no wiring, nothing on the inside. The uh, the trusses are going to be between $95 and $115 a piece. Uh, if we go with the half-inch CD plywood, it's $21.95 a sheet. If you go with the OSB, it's $10 a sheet. Uh, one of our our expenses is going to be we're not eight foot ceilings. It's 112 inches, and if we go with the two before, it's going to be more like 116 inches. So we're going to have to go with 10 foot boards. So uh, your 10 foot two by sixes is about eight dollars a piece. Now, I mean, this this is just through our local. Which I didn't call. I mean, I haven't sat down and put a actual. Uh, well, quantity and everything. I, I just rough, rough figured quantities and everything to get us an idea. Uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to beat it much if we go anywhere else, but we can, you know, we can go ahead and do it. But it, it's one of the deals where it's underneath the uh, the bid limit, so uh, our back our back of our building, they cut the tin off whenever they poured the concrete. The corners of it's been tore out. So anytime it rains or anything, we're getting rain against that wall. So we really need to get it dried in. Uh, we're still, we we'll need to figure enough to, to, to like we talked about, plywood or wafer board or plywood that whole back wall. <coughs> yeah, I just figured that'd be the inside. Yep, we, yep. we would do that when we started closing everything else. I think we need to do that for a strength and yep. stress wall while we're framing. Is this still, is this part of Grant Cafe or is this No, still? no, okay. we did the, the slab, slab okay. was Grant, but the rest is on us. But we've been talking about adding on for, well, I've, I've been here for 12, so I mean, it, it's been once or twice a year we've talked about it. We got the concrete poured, so it's... Yeah, I mean it's spring. We got we got away from the cold weather and everything else. So, are you doing the labor? Will somebody do this? I mean, you know, I, I don't mind working on it if we can get some help and stuff like that. I don't think it'll take that long to get framed in stuff like that. I'm bringing tools and labor free. 
to uh, <laughs> get it dried in or help whatever I can do. So. That's with a, a steel door in the yeah. in the back too. That basic yeah, that, price. That we figured we put a 36 inch steel huh. frame steel door in the back because we, we, we have have it's a public building. You have to have two two ways out. So we figured we'd put it. Uh, and, and one thing that me and Kathy's talked about and we wanted to bring up tonight was it's going to be a storage room. It's going to be a, a use room and everything else. But do you want to put any windows in it? Or do you want to make it more of a secure building to where? I, I, didn't, I, would, I, would, I would give a window back there. Any okay. to, it, it, this is just things that if we're going to... If we're going to go ahead and go through with this, if you guys want to put a window in it, now it's time to be framing it in. I don't think we need any windows like that. If, <coughs> if we wait for border plywood, like he's talking about, that also creates a stronger structure. It'd be like an F3 tornado yeah. impact. And too. plus that that uh, wall. Well, uh, what I want the south wall, wall, the whole end would is going to be storage anyway, yeah. Yeah. basically for the chairs and things that are always in the way. Because this this wall is going to be that closet is coming out, and that will be another walkway to get in back there. We've already discussed how hard it is to get bids on anything. I think before we do it, go local. I'll make a motion that we approve it to seventy five hundred dollars for the uh, for material for the uh, annex to the community building. I second. Now we're still going to keep the back door, right? Mm -hmm. The back door will stay in, but we're going to open up a walkway. A walkway. We'll finish molding that in so yeah, we can see what Yeah, when we do it, we'll redo all of that. So we'll have two access points so to the back room. From this from room. One from in there, and then that in halls through that closet. Well. But once we get it dried in, then you guys can decide what we want to do, and then it can just be starting to, you know, if we want to do it like this. Uh, I'd, I'd still recommend doing like we did this and putting at least plywood on the bottom four foot and that way they're not busting holes in the sheetrock with chairs and tables and stuff like that. Absolutely. Uh, and then we can do whatever on the top side of it. Let's go ahead and vote this motion. Agree? Yes. Collins? Yes. Duncan? Yes. Would you take that a later time on what to do on that? But we can get it in the dry. Yeah, and then you and, have time to... Yeah. I need, I need to sit down with you or something. We need to come up here and actually get some <coughs> little better numbers. That's fine. Do that. Like I'm here I mean, to help. So. I mean, I I was just figuring and writing numbers and trying to come up with things. And then it was like, I guess we should have figured plywood in on that because uh, that made it pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. So are we going to, are we going to, what are we going to go with the plywood or the, or with we can do the OSB for, for that. Because you're going to put synthetic and that, the uh, on it. Elephant, elephant, elephant uh, skin. Elephant skin or whatever. Yeah, and then house wrap or Tyvek on the outside of the walls. So, uh, one one thing that that uh, you guys need to decide is is they've got 26 and 29 gauge 10. 26 gauge, which is heavier tin, is $101 a square. The 29 gauge is $81 a square. No brainer, 26. I was just to say the 26 is heavier tin. It, it lasts better and everything else. It's a no brainer. All right. Do we? We don't have to. No. No. Yeah. I mean, that's just. Stay within that 7500 we can make any choices that you guys want to make. So. So, when we're when we're tying this building together, we've got. The front of this building is skinned with the rock and the, the gray, but the sides are the old green yes. that we're going to, do we want to try to tie it in? We need to paint it or? I think you'd have enough money to resheet it. I got it. But the, this side, I'm going to worry about this one. Paint that side? Paint this side, resheet that one to match. That way that whole side would look clean. Yeah, it'd be one solid. Are, are we going to try to block off this space in between the store and Absolutely. the building? Because they're going to if they're going to graffiti it, if we, well, we need to like frame over now. and put ten and build a gate. See what that. 
I've already talked to Tracy. She has no issue with that. So even help pay for the material on that. Where will the air conditioning unit sit? We'll move it to wherever we want. And set it in there. It'll be fine. We can get in it. In correct. the alley yeah. type? Well, where it's at well, now. Well, right? in the walkway yeah. to the gate there. It'd be fine. Okay. Be safer there than anywhere. Uh, discussion, consideration, and possible action on old business. T set grant approval or disapproval or on recommendations from the T set. I always want to call that test. <laughs> That's what you got wrote there, too. I probably do. Yeah. I do, Committee I? on the fencing quote for the backstop. Okay. We have a quote from Midwest, Midwest Fence. They're um, local fellows, but they operate out of Kansas. This is the only quote we got for $7,250. The backstop is going to be 30 foot across the back and 40 foot on each side, 16 foot tall, and have a cement curb so we don't have to deal with the grass encroachment. Yeah, steel ties on the concrete. Yeah. Uh huh. And we we want to go with we want to go with this bid. Mm -hmm. It will leave us um, 28. Where's my note? 28,750 in funds to do the addition to the basketball court with the new goals and then our next objective is the playground equipment. The walking track is the last thing on the list if we have any funds left for it. I make a motion we go with Midwest Fence for the installation of the backstops at the ball field for the T set grant funds or with with T set. Is there a second? I'll second. McGrew? Yes. Collins? Yes. With that being said, <laughs> it is going to be the our duty to tear out the Old one. <laughs> so I didn't hear that earlier. Yeah, well, yeah. I told him we'd help him. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so we we may have to kind of have a work day. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what comes up. I got a quickie saw. Uh, that back of tore that, that other stuff down pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> we, Ethan and I tore down the. It's rotted enough. You can pretty well tear it down that back. It's just being a clean up, getting them ready. Well, too big a piece of that, I got to clean it up. Yeah, jerk it right out, but. And, and we're going to have to figure out. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do yeah, with it because you can't, you cannot take that pipe to uh, the scrapyard. Oh, I forgot. Why not? It's hot. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. radiation. Yep. Yeah. The Geiger counter goes, when they come out of the office and point into the trailer, it goes. <laughs> They sent, us a, they sent us away with that first load. <laughs> we, we, were sitting in the, we were sitting in the road in front of Hyman's, and they told us to get out from in front of their building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do not turn around on their property. Get out in front of their building. <laughs> hey, you guys want to take down the, old, the dugouts and all? Are you going to do that? We already took the dugouts down. Oh, no. Yeah, we took them down two years ago. Yeah. yeah, just the backstop is left because they were... They were in bad shape. They were. They were terrible. using that one dug out by the bathrooms to jump on top of the, the building session stand. Yeah. Well, not on that, but there is. I've even seen them this year. A lot of people use that ball field. Yeah. So. No more, more if it's in better shape. So. They even still have a few tournament or two up there. Yeah. Uh, if we get that new backstop mm -hmm. put up, I can see adult leagues coming yeah. back, church leagues. Yeah. That'd be cool. Okay. Is there any old business? Oh, the mower? Yeah, we went back. Yeah. We purchased our, our mower that you guys approved last year. <laughs> 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 well, by the time we got there, they had gone off sale, and 
I wouldn't buy it. So uh, we went and got it this year. We got a 60 inch Gravely yep. HD. I don't know. It doesn't have the roll bar. It's For not the commercial. Bar. It does. You went until I went to ACO and got a Gravely 60 inch deck. It uh, it was last year's model, so we got it at a at a reduced deal. Yeah, we paid four thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars and thirty-two cents. Wow, you did close savings in there. I yeah yeah we did good. Zero time. Yeah. I think I mowed the water plant. Well, I didn't mow that the same. I mowed it a different day. I mowed the city hall behind here, the bus barn, and half of the playground in about three hours, four hours. That wasn't bad, and it used to take me about all day. Yeah, and it done a nice job, even. It's not my one in the scalp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> till, she, she, till she runs over another tree stump. Who, me? She got them all knocked out with the last mow. <laughs> <laughs> I just got stuck in the ditch. Mm -hmm. I, I was too afraid to take that one in the ditch, though. So. <laughs> Is there any discussion or consideration on new business? How are we coming along with the bricks? Uh, we're not. <laughs> we're not coming I didn't along know whether they were being sold or whether they'd be cleaned <laughs> off. Oh no, the pallets of bricks yeah. are up at the yeah. water plant. Okay. They're they're um they're okay. palleted with and wrapped. Okay. Um, it's about time around? for. Yeah, they're walking she, off. She never. Yeah, she never came back. That's why I, when you drive by, you can tell, especially on a weekend. <laughs> when you drive by on Monday morning, you can tell there's a few of them out there. But you never can see anybody. We're going to have to buy a small compressor, just a small pancake compressor, and a uh, chisel. chisel. Because the last guy that did it had had his own, but small compressors, you know, like a hundred bucks. Well, the thing about it is, I need more water plant anyway, so we can probably incorporate it just the and a, and a chisel isn't yeah. that expensive. Okay. Just as long as I don't have to sit there and spray the You can see this one take it. Chisel all them off. I think there's how many pallets up there? Four? Five. Five. Is there any more new business? Is there any citizens that would like to? Never mind. The fly won't get beat up. Is there any more? Is there any citizens that would like to address the city council? Is there a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Called order at 7:20 p.m. Members present: McGrew, yeah, Collins, and Duncan. Yes. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? I make a motion. Second. McGrew. Yes. Collins. Yes. Duncan. Yes. A report from the Water and Sewer Department. So. Last month we got into a lengthy deal about the uh, the meter. Uh, the report was uh, we finally got a copy of the report and everything. We called down. Uh, I, I visited with our new sheriff. I uh, told her that I'd give her a little while to get landed and figure out what's going on. So Monday, uh, yeah, it was Monday. Uh, I called down, given the report number. To just to have them find out what status on it was. They went upstairs and never been carried upstairs like we've been told it was. <clears throat> so they came up, all of the paperwork wasn't there. So the deputy came up, we give him a copy of all of our paperwork, we've got a copy of their report and everything. 
So they've got all of the paperwork again, and they was going to go down there, reassign it to this deputy, and, and start trying to get something done with that situation. Uh, I've been on hold. We talked about going ahead and abandoning the line, you know, getting it dug out. I was advised that we needed to let this sheriff see everything and make sure that she had everything before we done anything else. And that way, there's no, uh, well, that wasn't what was there. So we've done that. I've called the locates in now to go ahead and, and uh, we actually, part of the problem, we've got a leak down on Doug Cole's corner. It's a small leak, but it's on that old line. And we're not for sure whether he is on that old line or the new line. So when we go, we're just going to abandon that whole line. I've called locate into that whole two blocks. So if anybody's still on that old line, when we get done, it's going to be abandoned because the new line is right there. All we've got to do is just get it put over on it. So that's that's where we're at on that. Probably not going to get it done this week. Hopefully next week we can get that done. So is the sewer, have you got that on a separate deal? The it is, yeah. It's no under on. its own header. Okay. So other than that, we uh, we did have a, a oil company come in and, and get some water from us again. Uh, early in the, well, right after the last meeting, I believe it was. Uh, so we that that got taken care of. Everything seems to be going pretty good. That kind of stirred up the. Yeah, we we had a we had a little bit of an issue right there at that point. They come in and got water. The fire department was getting water for some controlled burns and stuff, and we rattled the system. Uh, so we had a little bit of dirty water for just a little bit. We got it blowed off. Uh, it kind of got hung up down here on one block, and we had a hard time getting. It. We could get it clear up, but then a couple of days later, it kind of. Uh, clouded up on us again, but we, we finally got that that blow off got that taken care of so uh, We are going to have to go through and do a uh, a uh, Fire hydrant we got we got to flush off all of our fire hydrants We try to do that every spring, you know get that that cleaned up. So that'll be happening here before very long but uh, I think that's about Everything just as far as the water plant and sewer. Yeah, we did take the load of scrap out that has been loaded in the trailer. I don't know, $134? $132.40. So, about 3,200 pounds, something like that. Just cleaned up around the water plant. We've got we've got a couple more loads that we're going to have to get, but that was stuff that we'd hauled in from like water leaks and too. part of the bus bar and stuff like that. Good. Discussing consideration of possible action on old business. Progress report on the wastewater project. So Dwayne came up and we had a, a walkthrough. Me and Kathy went down and met with the uh, MSB. M MSB? M MSB. Okay, MSB. Uh, because we had been having some issues on, they would come up and do stuff and then leave and then call and say we got it done while they didn't do what we wanted them to do. So. Uh, Dwayne came up. They they done their their uh, list of, of getting all the cleanup and everything done. Uh, they they did bring in a jetter truck and uh, cleaned the line because they had got dirt and stuff in the line and, and it settled out. So uh, they done that. Set screens in. I I wanted them to back it out, but they just set the screens up and and got. I think they got about five or six buckets of uh, mud out of the line, mud and rocks. So. It was they, they went on past their project uh, to go ahead and make sure that it was cleaned up far enough that it wasn't going to give us any trouble. So we got that done. Uh, they're still under their uh, maintenance contract, so if something happens, they still have to come back. But they have uh, turned in their final uh, pay request. And now it just we didn't get it until six o'clock. Uh, so I didn't sit down and go over the paperwork and I know the uh, uh, contractors in the past we've always paid 100% not worried about it we talked about going ahead and holding a little bit of retainage on this one just so that we'd have it and I, I don't know what I don't know whether you've done the final on that in its total or, or what
but that's if you guys want to pay the whole thing, that's whatever. But I mean, if you want to. Yeah, that's what I thought. But if, if you remember the last contractor that we had, we wound up spending a lot of time cleaning the project up because he left and never came back. This shows he's billing for 100%. Uh -huh. But I think in a big contract, you guys had the option to hold a percentage until yeah. the year maintenance bill was over. Yeah, what was Dwayne's recommendation? He said that we could call him if. The reason I'm saying it, it was this a bonded? Did they produce a bond? Yes, yes. We really don't need to hold anything because we can go back against the bond for a year. I'm, I'm just throwing it out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a council decision, but that's what I'm saying. But, but it, it is it's got a surety bond on it. I'm pretty sure it's got a maintenance bond if it's got a surety bond. And we, so and it's good for a year. Mm -hmm. We we have possession of it for a year. From the date of completion when this final was done, you can go back against the surety bond for damages if, if something was if like they don't come back and, and fix a problem. Under it's warranted, so it might create a, a, a nightmare for Kathy of trying to keep track of it because they won't build it again. You know, so I think it'd be more of a headache. But that's just me. So, did they present the bond to Kathy to hold? We already have them. Okay, already got them. The way yeah, OWRB requires. Should be assured in the maintenance. Okay. So. But we hold that for a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dwayne's got one here too, doesn't Do you want to. So will there be a final inspection before that year? That's what they up? just done. Uh, OWRB has to come down and do a final inspection. They have ultimate approval on everything. on everything at the end of the project because it's the end of their money. Yeah. And so uh, this is just one part of the approval process. Okay. Dwayne had to approve it. You guys have to look at it and approve it. And then OWRB has to come in and do final inspection too. So. See, the most you could hold 3,500, 5%. <coughs> and then you run the risk of making the man mad. Then you can't get anything out of cooperation. So I would make a motion to pay the full amount. MSB construction for the completion of that, what is that, wastewater project, 2012 or 10? <laughs> yeah, it just says wastewater project. Yeah. Give me the total. Oh, $13,944.30. Duncan, you second? Yes. Drew? Yes. Collins? Yes. Yes. Right up twice. We have one for Mr. Dwayne Henderson, our engineer, who's... It's, it's so much I don't know what we pay you. That's one with my hold. He has a, a total of $165 for the completion of his part of the project. I'll make a motion to pay Dwayne $165. I'll second. How much do we get the third notice? Minus the five percent. Group made the motion. Two second. I did. Group. Yes. Collins. Yes. Duncan. Yes. Yeah, I'll probably have to request funds for rate to get that, yeah. that one paid. Discussion. Discuss options on how to proceed with the project in regards to the remaining REAP funds and Cherokee Nation funds. I still haven't gotten anything back from Cherokee Nation on 
what all they're going to require us to do, if they're going to require us to bid. I don't think they're going to, but we need to decide whether we want to go ahead and let Dwayne hire the surveying company to come in. And it's, it's benchmark is who he yeah. normally uses. If I, I guess you can make it contingent on everything, you know, getting all approvals from IHS, and uh, there's going to be REIT funds left. Mm -hmm. I would like to see if I think we're going to have OWRB money left. REIT. If we can, yeah, do do a change order. REIT proportion. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they're going to let us or not, but we're we'll see. But we may have to pay them the remaining of unused funds. Even though we put option, we had to bid it's, alternate it's gonna everything. Be their, it's going to be their decision on whether they allow us to, because, to I mean, do it. With, with it being a bid option, it was still part of the project, so we might yeah. be that. It's just going to It's just going to depend on how they interpret it. How they interpret it. Yeah. The money's there. It's not like we got to take it back. You know. Yeah. Return, we'll just have to return funds. leftover funds. But I mean, if we could use it. Oh yeah. We. Yeah, convince somebody like use it. Yay. The old old regime used to no problem, mm -hmm. but their funds that they get is tighter and tighter, so they want them back so they can fund other projects. I mean, do you want to take any action on? Well, no need at this time take any action. We just need to continue forward. I mean, if it's, I mean, we don't need to bring in the survey team until we know what, if we're going to proceed. But once we know we're going to move, then we can do that. But I don't know any reason to bring them in to do a survey if we're not going to actually move forward. Well, we have the 128000 from IHS. We have in our possession there. No, but I have the letter of yeah, ten. The funds. Yeah. The guarantee of funds. Well, that means you have the money if you have a letter of guarantees. So. Right. It's what this is what they yeah. this is what they give us. The money's not in the bank account. Yeah. <laughs> How are they gonna pay or do you know? Do we do they reimburse or go do Bitcoin. <laughs> Slot machine tokens. Here you go. Hope you win that. Here's a here's a voucher for a yeah. hard fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it says here between seven fifteen of eighteen and twelve thirty one of nineteen or until project completion. So right. there's really no end date on the money. Right. So. There's your requisition number, so I just didn't know the process on how the Indians, I mean, if it comes to the point like we do with REAP, that you ask them for the funds. And, I, I don't, know, I don't know. know. They, they've never funded us in this capacity before, so it's a, it's going to be a different process. I mean, as far process. as, do we, do we need to rehire Henderson or just let him proceed? I don't know why we're rehiring the same project. Right, it's the same project. I mean, I, I mean, you could, you guys can talk about it, and I mean, you can vote to keep him, yeah. keep him on on the project, or yeah, I'm thinking right. of changing my mind there because if them funds are available, I would say we need to, to vote to have, to have Mr. Henderson proceed forward to get this thing done before they put it back under another consent order. Do I, have I would make a motion to go ahead and have Dwayne push forward with the remaining REIT funds and, and the Cherokee money and see if we cannot get the WORB money reallocated. Is there a second? A second. I, I, was, I, I was letting her write. I right. was too. <laughs> Groom, 
Yes. Make the motion. Call and second. Yes. So, Colbert, McGrew. Yes. Collins. Yes. Duncan. Yes. We had our. We we also had our waste our water license recertification here. That was after last month's mm -hmm. meeting. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. March yeah. yeah. There was twenty of us in yep. attendance from No Water County and. We had Washington County, oh, Osage County. Osage County. There was, it was a good class. We had a different instructor this year. So that was a good class. Well, I mean, it was different, but we got our hours in. So is that your continuing we, <laughs> yeah. our continuing education. Yes. We will, Four hours mandatory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will be having more training coming coming down the pike, though. He's already warned us that we're going to have some. New. We'll be having stage three disinfection byproducts rules coming out, so we'll have to go back down to Tulsa to get that figured out. Hopefully, that won't include any more testing like the stage two. We had to do the every other week sample taken to Tulsa, so the LT2. <coughs> Hopefully, stage three won't be as bad, but we'll see. I don't even think we've gotten any type of determination from EPA on that stage two. We haven't. Not that I've seen. Yeah. So. Discussion and consideration of any new business for the <coughs> public work. Is there any citizens that would like to address the public work? If not, I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody for all the years we put together on the council, because tonight I'll exit. It'll be my last meeting. So. Really? So, Mr. Bainey will take over next month. So. Well, I've been covering this for a long time, and I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been promoted to citizen. <laughs> so. As we say at Macy's, they just promoted me to customer. So, I'll make a motion we adjourn. I'll second. Adjourn? Yes. Collins? Yes. Yes. <laughs>